All on your own? <laughs> Good grief. You gave me a shock. Yes, I... I'm afraid I'm not a good sailor. I need my land legs. And what nice legs they are. <clears throat> oh, well, 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 what a dear little place this is. Mm -hmm. I do feel I must be getting on, however. Oh, don't get up. I'm perfectly harmless, I promise. I'm positively Edwardian with the ladies. Quite a prude, I promise you. Admire the turn of a good ankle. Nothing more, <laughs> although between us two, things aren't quite as they should be between me and Lois. Uh, I really don't think uh, that She's I... a wonderful woman, but a cunning little vixen. <laughs> I'm afraid I've uncovered more than one unsavory plot in which my wife has been embroiled. At the beginning of our marriage, I hoped that I was rescuing her. Now I see it's everyone else that needed to be saved. Oh, gosh, it's awfully hot in here. I was unwary and foolish and hoped against hope, perhaps, that by meeting her old friends I might learn enough about her real nature that I might save our failing marriage and my very fortune itself. Do you know how many of my millions she has gone through? No. I hardly like to speak of it. The dishonor is so great, but... If she cannot be tempted away from the gaming table, then I am a spent man. How awfully tricky for you. I think she may be even keeping some gigolo in Paris at my expense. She was most particular that we should stop there overnight. You seem so much more kind <laughs> than she is. Oh, I'm so sorry, Edward. I know. It's a terrible thing to be married to a woman as cold <laughs> as Lois. No, I, I mean, I, I've just been sick in your pocket. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I mean, uh, never mind. Um, I hear your father is rather a famous lawyer. A QC? That's right. I think I met him once. Oh, I'm sure you did. He's a frightful social climber. Quality is often lacking in the parents of the really noble. What do you mean? You. I feel you have a sense of honour. Oh, you are such a dear. It shines from you like a light. Oh, does it? Uh, I mean, it was very nice of you to say so. I feel that you are the one to keep my secret. Oh, no, please don't tell me a secret. I'm allergic to, to them. To keep my secret and even perhaps to be the guardian of this special train. I'm at my wit's end. I'm going to have to sell it, you know. Imagine that. Your little school friend has really cleaned me out. By this train? But I couldn't possibly afford it. Well, but I think you'll find your father could. Think of the entertaining he could do on it. And you need only invest a very modest sum and buy one carriage to have the use of the whole thing for an entire month of every year. It's a unique purchase. I'd buy it myself if I had the means. Uh, do you have any cash on you <laughs> at oh. all? Well, I, I did bring some traveller's checks. Oh. Are you really penniless? Oh, oh you poor dear. <laughs> I would never have imagined that that would be your secret. Oh, that wasn't really what I uh, meant to say. It, it was just, um, just an opportunity that I wanted to offer you. No, the uh, real secret, the... Dilemma I face is what to do about my wife and Sophia. What do you mean? I've discovered that Lois has been further mm, supplementing her funds at Sophia's expense. Oh, is that so? Blackmail. Oh, gosh. Is there anything my wife might know about Sophia that would give her the power over her? Well, nothing that I can think of. I am aware that there exists a special bond between you all. Are you prepared to tell me what it was in the interests of saving your friend? Let me tell you, from the conversation I had with her just now, she appears to be pretty desperate. She's terrified her husband will find out. And even once, though it's beyond my understanding, to protect Lois. Well, there's nothing I can tell you, really. And anything, anything that's happened is far too long ago to be of any significance. 
Are you sure that what you say is true? I've found letters and even money. As criminals go, Lois is not especially discreet. If I can't get to the bottom of it myself, I'm going to have to call a private detective who is a friend of mine, one Rufus Rank. You've heard of him, I suppose? Oh, yes. Golly, he's, he's always in the papers. Perhaps this is the best way to proceed. I must confess, after my interview with Sophia just now, I feel somewhat shaken, and I don't know what to do. 